People are sharing their experience after severe weather hit the region last night. Our area is seeing a mix of heavy rain and strong winds creating pockets of damage. One of the areas that saw a lot of damage was Stevenson County. According to the National Weather Service, Freeport experienced winds as high as 60 miles an hour from the storm. Those high winds snapped and uprooted trees as you can see here. That in turn led to thousands of power outages in the county. Lena, a smaller town in Stevenson County, northwest of Freeport, even had reports of hail, one of the only places to report such activity. And earlier this morning, 13 WREX reached out to the city of Freeport, who says they got more than 50 calls to the fire department between 8 and 11 o'clock last night. 13 WREX's Emily McMahon went to Freeport today, speaking with people in the Pretzel City and what they experienced. And Emily, what do those neighborhoods look like as uh, they're dealing with the aftermath of the storm here? Well, Derek, the community is certainly picking up the pieces today in Freeport. I saw many people out picking up branches and debris and just discussing amongst each other how to move forward. As they say, last night brought something they had never seen before. Never, never seen anything this bad. I mean, we've had storms through here before, but nothing like this that I can remember anyway. Judy Corman has lived in Freeport almost her entire life, experiencing a storm like never before last night. Dale Rowe has lived in the same neighborhood for 51 years and says last night brought something completely out of the ordinary for him and his wife. I was in the other room there and I hollered at her and says, get to the basement. And by the time I got her to the basement and got the dog down there, it was over. Another neighbor who wished to remain anonymous had a scary incident during the storm as a tree fell onto the front of her home. I just heard, you know, like a loud noise and then I heard a thump on my house and of course that made me go and look outside. As the storm rolled through the Pretzel City, Corman says she could see her neighbors trying to make sense of what happened. When she got outside, she realized she wasn't the only one in shock from the storm damage. I could see people running up and down Park Boulevard and I thought something happened down there. Well, I walked down later after everything was over and done with and I could see trees on top of how a couple houses had them on top. Less than 24 hours later, a seemingly wasteful purchase finally got its chance to shine. Rowe says his power won't be back for days, so he's thankful he was prepared. When I got the generator and thought, I thought, well, this was kind of a waste of time, but uh, and this is the first time I've ever had to use it. <laughs> However, despite the stress, the anonymous neighbor says she's seen worse, grateful for just the small damage to her home. They call it the Belvedere tornado back in 67. And that was that was horrible. This is nothing compared to what happened back then. Reporting in Freeport, Emily McMinn, 13 to VREX. And due to the power outage, the Freeport Public Library says their computers, Wi-Fi and charging stations are available to anyone in need of them. Back over to you, Derek. All right, Emily, thank you. A lot of hard hit areas in Stevenson County and Joe Davis County as well.